Hey everyone, it's Heather and today we are at Dead Man's Hollow, a place I have been wanting to come out to since I was a kid, but amazingly I never made it until now. So I am standing outside of the ruins to the terracotta pipe factory and I just wanted to kind of film these ruins, give you guys a little history lesson on them, so let's go. Dead Man's Hollow is a 450 acre conservation area located along the Yokogany River just south of the city of McKeesport, Pennsylvania. As the story goes, Dead Man's Hollow earned its dismal name in 1874 when a group of adolescent boys were roaming through the hollow and came upon a decomposed body that was hanging by a noose. The victim was never identified and no one was ever charged with the murder. Soon, the natural isolation of the hollow became the setting of other dark tales of criminal acts and untimely deaths. From suspicious drownings and violent gunfights to tragic explosions and lightning strikes, Dead Man's Hollow has been the scene of many grisly incidents and accidents. Supposedly, one or more of these bizarre tales have prompted quite a few encounters with the unknown in the secluded hollow. Dead Man's Hollow was once the home of a thriving industrial center. From the Bowman Brickyard to the ruins you're looking at now of the Union Sewer Pipe Factory. The factory was built in the late 1800s and it manufactured clay sewer pipes for cities in Pennsylvania, New York, and New England. In fact, many of those sewer pipes are still in use today and I even learned about them in elementary school which is why I've wanted to get out here for so long because the tales of the hollow were so fun to hear about. The factory was in operation from the late 1880s until 1920 when a devastating fire brought it to an end. The factory is also the site of a horrific workplace accident. On September 25th of 1905, Mike Sacco was leaving work when he pulled the rope to lower the elevator, but it began to rise instead. So he jumped from the elevator in an attempt to reach the second floor, but his body became wedged between the second floor ceiling and the floor of the elevator. He was rushed to McKeesport Hospital, but he died en route. Could his soul still be wandering the hollow? So do yourself a favor and do not take this route because I ended up with poison ivy that I'm still trying to clear up. <laughs> so behind the factory, there is a creek bed that is filled with shards of broken terracotta pipe. Something about this was so magical to me and I definitely recommend checking out behind the factory. There's another way around though, you don't need to get poison ivy. Mike Sacco isn't the only soul believed to haunt Dead Man's Hollow. In March of 1883, four workmen at the George Fleming Stone Quarry were killed when attempting to thaw frozen explosives by an open flame. Doesn't seem like a very smart idea, does it? But clearly they didn't know. The explosives ignited and the blast killed at least two of the men instantly. There's also the tale of two men who robbed the bank in Clareton and met in the hollow to split the money. One of the men shot the other to keep all the money. As the man was exiting the woods, he stashed the money in a hiding place. According to legends, he was then discovered at the opening of the hollow and gunned down by lawmen. Some people still believe that the money is in the hollow. So not only can you hunt for ghosts here, you can also hunt for treasure. One of the more lighthearted tales of the hollow started in the 1860s, where sightings of a gigantic snake were reported. The snake was believed to be between 40 to 50 feet long. The snake tail most likely was made up by moonshiners to protect their stash. However, you might want to watch your step when you go out to the hollow just to be safe it's a local urban legend, and some people truly believe it. Tucked away not far from the terracotta factory is the Enchanted Staircase. I just thought this was really beautiful. It makes for a nice picture and a nice little hike up the trail. <laughs> I was twisting my fucking ankle. <laughs> so that is all for this highlight video of Dead Man's Hollow. There's so much more history on this place, so many more stories. I highly recommend that you research this location. So if you're ever in Pennsylvania and you're looking for a place to get lost in the woods for a while or possibly have an encounter with the other side, Dead Man's Hollow is a fantastic place to go. 
That's all for now. As always, stay safe out there, explorers, and I'll see you all in my next video.